We're not trying to make everything half Jewish and half Japanese. I mean, easy to call it Jewish Japanese, but it's more than that. It comes from a, a very like genuine place. I think our food is a lot about building bridges, not about barriers between cultures. My name is Sawako Okoch. I'm a chef owner of Shalom Japan. My name is Aaron Israel, and I'm also a chef and owner of Shalom Japan. So we've been together for eight years. Eight years. Shalom Japan is uh, our restaurant. The food is a collaboration between the two of us. I grew up in Hiroshima, and I moved to New York to go to culinary school. I grew up in Great Neck, New York, which is... Jewish. <laughs> so, so Jewish. We grew the restaurant organically out of being dating and then living together and sharing different foods. I really wanted to open my own restaurant and so I think we just decided at one point we were like, hey, let's just do it together. Shalom Japan has been open for six years. One of the first dishes that we put on the menu is a lox bowl. Our lox bowl is our version of chirashi, which is a Japanese dish of raw fish over sushi rice. We put our house cured lox over sushi rice, and then we put a whole bunch of traditional Japanese ingredients, and then also some Jewish ingredients, so Japanese pickles, fried capers, avocado, and cilantro. Our matzo ball ramen is uh, our version of a very classic Jewish soup, and then it has the ramen noodles. Matzo ball has a little gyoza that we fill with chicken and foie gras. Yeah, a little garlic chili oil. Grandma didn't put garlic chili oil in the matzo ball soup in my house. Sake kasu hala is, uh, hala is a traditional Jewish bread, almost like a brioche, and we bake sake kasu into it. Sake kasu is the leftover mash when you make sake, so it's kind of yeasty, kind of fermented, kind of, kind of a little funky. Our food seems like an unlikely combination, it's sort of who we are. It's what we cook at home, the experiences that we've had together, how we kind of take those and then express them uh, at our restaurant. I hear that people are presently surprised because people come in with like, what is this place? Funny name, Shalom Japan. And they have changed their mind that by the end of the meal that, you know, that was delicious. We've never had anything like this. You know, like that's the response we get a lot. And that's what gets us going. I think our food is not about putting up barriers between cultures, but looking at how can we relate to each other like through those ingredients. 